Hi guys, I'd like to go over daily homework page number 152. So you see my name's already on there and you kind of have the choice if you wanna do this on June 22nd or 23rd, it is up to you, signature's there too. All right, my first question is 190.8 minus 179.96. You can see that the second number goes to the hundredths place and the first number just goes to the tenths place. So I'm gonna put a zero in and I'm gonna stack this because it looks like there's gonna be a bit of borrowing to do. So I'm gonna put a zero right there in the hundredths place uh, for the first number, just so I have that kind of as a placeholder. And then I'll put the second number underneath. Now, uh, I know my answer in the end is going to be somewhere, I think it's gonna be around 10 or so, even if you thought this was just 180, 190 minus 180 is 10. So it's not gonna be far off of that. Let's find the exact answer. So uh, to begin with, I'm gonna have to borrow here. So this becomes a seven in the tenths place and in the hundredths, this will become a 10. So 10 minus six is four. Now I have seven minus nine in the tenths. So I'm gonna do a bit of borrowing. Now this zero is gonna to have to borrow first. So this is gonna become an eight in the tens and I'll move that 10 over to the uh, ones place. So now there's 10 ones. Then I'm gonna take one of those ones and move it over to the tenths place. Now I have 17 tenths or one decimal seven. So 17 minus nine is eight. I'm gonna drop my decimal in where it belongs. Nine minus nine is zero and eight minus seven is one. So my answer is 10 decimal eight four. I said it'd be around 10, not too bad. Now I have 15 times nine. Um, I know that 10 times nine is 90. And I know that uh, five times nine is 45. So together, these would make 135. I need to know the expanded form of 18,020. So the one here is 10,000. The eight is 8,000. Oh, sorry. The there's the bell. Um, the zero doesn't make any difference, so we're not gonna worry about that. The two is 20, and the last zero do also doesn't make a difference. So 10,000 plus 8,000 plus 20 would be our expanded form. Um, our numbers go 11, 12, 13, 14, but I need to know what's halfway between them. So you kind of have a choice. What's halfway between 11 and 12? Well, that would be 11 and a half. So sometimes you can write it like this, 11 and one half, or you might choose to write it as 11 decimal five. Both of those are correct. 12 and a half or 12 decimal five, 13 and a half or 13 decimal five or 13 and five tenths. Last question. It says, Laura's brother left his uncle's house 500 kilometers away at 8 a.m. He got home at 1 p.m. How fast was her brother traveling per hour? So our first thing we need to figure out is how, how long was he driving for? So from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., well, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock. So five hours, and he went 500 kilometers. So if... We were going uh, 500 kilometers, it took us five hours. We'd go 500 divided by five, which would be 100 kilometers per hour. All right, guys, don't forget to do your Lexia practice if you still have your access to technology. And make sure you read and uh, show me what you uh, learned when you were reading. All right, guys, have a great uh, rest of your day.